GamesRadar Plus is an entertainment website dedicated to video game related news, previews and reviews that is owned by Future Publishing, a subsidiary of Future PLC. In late 2014, Future Publishing owned sites Total Film, SFX, Edge and Computer and Video Games were merged into GamesRadar, with the resulting expanded website being renamed GamesRadar Plus in November that year. Topic Format and style GamesRadar Plus publishes numerous articles each day. Including official video game news, reviews, previews, and interviews with publishers and developers. One of the site's features was their Top 7 lists, a weekly countdown detailing negative aspects of video games themselves, the industry and or culture. They actually mark a negative score in almost everything. Now, they are better known for lists of baddest depth segmented by genre, platform, or theme. These are divided into living lists, for consoles and platforms that are still active, and legacy lists, for consoles and platforms that are no longer a target for commercial game development. History In December 2007, Texas filed a lawsuit against Future U.S. Future PLC's U.S. subsidiary, for violating the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act by collecting data of children under 13 through GamesRadar without parental notice. The lawsuit alleges that the site "...failed to include necessary disclosures and obtain parental consent before collecting personal information from children." The owner of the other website settled in March 2008, though the final disposition against Future PLC is not public record. In January 2011, GamesRadar released a freeware app for iOS via the App Store, with which users could browse their cheats, guides, and walkthroughs. By February 2012, many of the long-standing writers and editors were either laid off or had moved on to other careers, including many recurring hosts and guests of the site's Talk Radar podcast, which at the time ended at episode 198. In November 2012, Keith Walker became the new publisher at Future Publishing, and thus GamesRadar, looking to improve digital growth. By December 2012, the site underwent a drastic new redesign including new layout, interface and regular features along with new staff members and successor to TalkRadar podcast titled, Radio Radar. In May 2014, it was reported that Future Publishing intended to close the websites of Edge, Computer and Video Games and their other video game publications. In September 2014, GamesRadar partner sites Total Film and SFX were merged into GamesRadar, and the resulting site was renamed GamesRadar Plus the following November. In December 2014, it was confirmed that the previously closed Edge and Computer and Video Games sites would also be merged into GamesRadar Plus. On the 4th of February 2016, Daniel Dawkins was announced to have been promoted GamesRadar Plus as global editor in chief. Topic: <laughs> Community GamesRadar has hosted numerous online message boards and forums from as early as 1998 in its original Future Gamer and then Daily Radar incarnation, including international versions such as GamesRadar.it. Future Publishing's enthusiast video and computer games magazines such as N64 Magazine often featured prevalent advertising for GamesRadar.com to encourage participation from readers. In 2008, the site moved towards a single login functionality for reader comments on articles and posting on forums, for which the newer U.S. forums were chosen due to Future's strategic shift to garner U.S. readership and compete with sites such as IGN. On August 14, 2008, it was announced that the U.K. forum would be closed down and merged with the U.S. forums. Moderators of the original U.K. forums instead launched Gurkade, occasionally noted for its own breaking news. GamesRadar Plus no longer hosts online forums. 